Now, let's create a contact form for our site. We are going to use the web form, alright? Before doing that, let's clean up a bit of our spaces for the contact us on the top here. I think we'll remove this my account and lockout. They're actually from the secondary menu. But you can't actually remove them from a block here because it's not assigned to the region, alright? It's actually pulled out from our page template. So let's open our text editor and remove this. So under our bootstrap sub theme, let's open templates folder and open this page.tbr.php. Now scroll down. So our secondary menu is actually rendered from here. Now we're going to remove this since we do not need it anymore. Let's remove the conditional statement as well. Let's remove this. So that's only primary and navigation. Save it. Now back to our Drupal site. Now let's refresh. Okay, it's gone. So let's install the web form module. Go to module page. Scroll down. Now take note here. We are going to install web form version 4, right? So for version 4, you require PHP 5.3. Now this module will already installed. Alright, so take note of that. Scroll now. Let's copy the link. Back to our Drupal site. Go to modules, install new module. Paste it here. Click install. Let's enable the module. Search for web form. Turn it on and save. Let's go to content type, structure, content types, web form. Now scroll down. Let's do some default settings. Publishing. Uncheck this. We do need to promote to front page. Display. There's no need for auto and date information. Main menu is fine. The rest is okay. So let's save the content type. So let's manage field. Let's add a body field. It doesn't come with the body field by default, but often we need this field to add a bit of description or Google Map for the form. So we need this field, right? Now we are going to use the existing field. There's already a body field here. So we use long text and summary. Scroll down. Save. Scroll down. Now remember, text processing, we must choose filter text. Summary input perhaps. Scroll down. Save. Now let's create the form. Content, add content, web form. Now we'll create a form called contact us. For the body here, we'll fill some dummy text. Scroll down, provide a link, yes, contact us, right, so we save. Now let's create some components, first one, name, text field, fine, required, yes, add, scroll down, I think we we'll save it as it is, the second one is email, type email, require, yes, all these are quite straightforward. You can adjust if you want. I'll save it. Now, third one, subject. Text view. Required. Add. Scroll down. Save it. Now, the last one, message. Select text area. Required. Scroll down. And save. That's all. So let's view our form. Scroll down. Now you notice this email field doesn't render properly. So we need to fix this. We also need to remove this label for the body field. So we first go to manage display. Then this one, we hide it. Scroll down, save it. And we go to web form. Now let's fix the email, add it here. Scroll down, 
Let's add a class under CSS classes. Form dash control and save the component. Let's view the form again. Scroll down. That's great. It's a quick fix. For the contact us menu, remember to add the icon here. Okay, that's all. Let's proceed.